What's up everybody, this is John G from becomeabeatmaker.com on Wing Sound. In this tutorial, I wanna give you an overview of the file browser in FL Studio. The file browser is located over here to your left. By default, you'll see all these loaded up here. And the way you bring this up, you scroll right here, right there, view browser, plugin picker. The cool thing about this is that you can just drag and drop a lot of things here. And there's also a lot of presets for some of the virtual instruments that come preloaded with FL Studio. For example, this right here, the 3X oscillator. If I come over here to channel presets and then click on 3X oscillator, you got all these presets that you can use. You can just drag and drop right in here. It gives you a good foundation to start with so that way you can just get going right away. If you scroll through your clipboard, if you, you know, are cutting stuff, copying things, it'll give you a history of it. Likewise with collected, this is all your project samples. Right here, current project. This will give you a history of everything you have loaded up. Click on generators. There's our oscillator right there. Patterns, we haven't done anything yet, but this is where the patterns will be located. Remote control, this is for your MIDI controller. Another cool thing right here is your mixer presets. You can get a nice signal chain going right away without having to fool with stuff. I'm just gonna grab this one here, general purpose air mastering. You drag this on over to the mixer. You got your parametric EQ. You got your multiband compressor. You got your stereo enhancer. Just gives you a good start to get things going. Over here, packs. This is all the default sounds that come with FL Studio. Your plugin database, it categorizes everything for you. You got effects, dynamics, delay. If you click on delay, this is going to give you all your delay options. You got some drag and drop functionality here. Pop all that stuff on there. Down here, you got your sound fonts. If you want to bring in your own sounds, right here I got my blazing drums. If I click on that, you can see all my drum kits here. The way you bring those in is that you want to go to options and then you go to file settings. And then all you do is just simply left click on that folder and it's going to open up your browser and then you just select wherever your drums are and then you click OK and that's it. And then it'll show up right here. You X out of that and then right over here, this will rescan the browser window. So if you click on that, it'll just rescan it. This up arrow here, this collapses everything. So you can just bring everything back to the way it was. All right, John G signing off. Become a beatmaker.com. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology. 